Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well out there and uh, miss seeing you all in the art room, but I've got some more art coming your way. In the meantime, I want to remind you that you had um, a survey and two projects due, no matter what grade you were in, for May 4th. If you haven't gotten those in yet, you still can. Remember that your grade in art for this term will be based totally on participation to do the best you can. And so in order for me to give you a grade of AP for pass, I need to receive those. Just doing the surveys is not going to be enough participation to give you a passing grade. So keep those coming. I can't wait to see what you're doing. And thanks to all of you who've already done such a great job on those so far. So on to the new stuff. I'm very excited today to be doing a, um, a new approach with you and hopefully some of you have already had a chance to check out the assignments which have been posted in Google Classroom and also on the parent portal and also given out in packets. If you have not been able to access those, please get in touch with me by email and I'll do my, my best to get those to you. So the, the new projects that you have are on a choice board. And this means, yes, you get to choose the projects that you're doing. And I thought because a lot of you have different kinds of supplies at home, or some have limited supplies at home, I'm going to give you a range of options. So you can use whatever you want. And the projects are not really uh, full of directions because the idea is you kind of can do something you think would be cool uh, and uh, to show the theme or whatever the prompt in the choice board is. Okay, so let's check out what the choice boards look like and how you use them. And we'll begin with eighth grade and then I'll show you seventh and sixth grades. You will need to read your board over um, in its entirety, get familiar with all of the choices that you have on your own, but I'll just show you how to navigate those a little bit right now. Okay, so let's check out what the choice boards look like first, then I'll go through some directions with you. So I'm gonna share my screen. And I'm going to take a look first at the choice board here. And I want to just remind you that when you um, are looking at something like this, you're going to see these underlined words. And you know, I think that that means it's a link. It's going to bring you to the places you need to go that are going to help you with either being inspired by or making these projects. So sometimes it's a link like this one to the Bob Ross YouTube channel. You can jump right into it very easily like that. Or other times it might actually have um, a worksheet attached that's gonna help you with your project. If you don't have access to a computer or to um, if you're using the paper packet, there are some that don't have any links at all. And you might not always need the links on these, but you should check them out if you can. And that goes for any grade level. So we have some really popular ones already, the Bob Ross uh, for eighth grade and the uh, graffiti letters are really kind of fun. And um, a lot of people are choosing creative sign thinking are essential workers and heroes in our community. Thank you, nurses. It was Nurses Day yesterday. So shout out to you all. I'm going to show you the grade six choice board. Grade six choice board has some great stuff on it as well. I think you'll really enjoy. So a lot of people were asking me about learning about Greek mythology. So I put that up here for you. There's a couple of sculpture projects because people had told me in the surveys they were interested in that. And there's um, some things that are just fun drawings. So check those out. Grade seven is, um, let's see, grade seven choice board. Oops. Grade seven choice board has also some great um, ideas. It also has the Bob Ross, but we also have some things about Australia and visiting the Van Gogh Virtual Museum, which is amazing if you haven't had a chance to virtually visit that. Some op art um, and uh, a lot of really fun things I think you'll enjoy. We were just doing Japan, so I put some origami tutorials up there. Hope you enjoy those. So now I want to go over the directions with you. So I'm going to bring up one set of directions. It's the same for grade eight, seven, and six. So um, I'm going to just share the screen again here, get those out for you. So the directions here for our choice boards are really easy. So you do need to get your direct, uh, your um, pre-planning 
form done by May 8th. You can do that on paper and email it or do it right online here. Um, and then the 15th and the 22nd are when your first choice projects are due. So important info is make sure you read through the box, read those links. Um, and for 2D artwork, you can use anything you have. It could be as simple as pencil and paper. It could be um, anything you would like to try that you haven't had a chance to try before. And um, you can use photos for reference uh, as long as the ultimately the art is your own. And of course, share it to me by email a photo or attach it to your Google Classroom. Um, if it says that something can be three-dimensional or can be any way at all, you decide. So um, I would just caution you to try to stay um, maybe not making something too large if you don't have a lot of time on it. The larger the artwork, the more time it will take. But if you want to work really big, you can. That is up to you. I cannot wait to see what you're going to come up with. The idea here is just be creative and kind of come up with your own way of doing the art. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is just show you where to find everything in your Google Classroom. There was a little bit of confusion about that. All of the required assignments are under required assignments. It means you need to do those to get your passing grade for art. And so let me share, you, share my screen with you and we'll check out some uh, directions on how to find everything, okay? So I'm just going to pop into the grade eight art classroom. Here it is. And if you go into classwork here at the top of the page, click on that, you're going to see two batches of required assignments. So these are the ones that were due on May 4th. And there are complete directions, which you don't have to pass in. It's just that you've read them. Uh, your survey, which you do need to do, you're getting credit for doing it. It'll take you about two minutes. If you haven't done it, please try. And then two, Assignments. Each grade level has two different assignments. They're not the same for grades six, seven, and eight. So you want to go into yours and find them. All you have to do is click on that, and it's going to give you all the information you need. There's a video for each assignment with me giving you instructions about that. So you can check that out. And up here is our new assignments, May 4th through May 22. And so the first one is just read through all your directions for your choice board and check out your choice board, look at all the links, enjoy checking those out, and then fill out your pre-planning form where you're going to show me what you wanna work on and ask me any questions that I can address here. And then May 15th tells you you're going to pass in your first choice, whatever the one is you wanna do first, and um, again, fill out a Google form that goes with it. You'll find that in there as well. That will tell me what your artwork is, the title of your artwork, and any other information I'm looking for here, and then the 22nd. So you'll have two projects to do for um, the next portion of our home learning. And spoiler alert, we're going to do more of these to end the year. So in the second batch to last us through June, you'll also be choosing from your choice board. So I hope you really, really, really enjoy that. I'm gonna stop sharing my screen here for a second. And I just wanna go over a few questions I've already gotten from people. And again, good job to those people. Um, a little secret here is I've already had a student turn in all three things do by the 22nd, which is amazing. So um, that is just incredible, incredible work and work ethic. So awesome job. Um, and they know who they are. I'm not going to say their name in front of everybody, but um, it's doable. These are all some, some of the choices are easier than others that given you a range. So, you know, it's how much time you have to spend on it. Some are short, some would be longer. Some just depends on your work pace. So do what you feel like is interesting to you and that motivates you um, and that you have time for. And just like that person, I knew you can all do it. So uh, keep, keep it up, keep bringing in that work that's due, but um, hopefully this will really be fun for you as well. So I did have a few questions, as I said, here they are. I just had to look for them in my notebook. So um, a few questions that I had, I'm not gonna say who asked them, but I'm gonna just explain some of the information that we talked about because some of you might have the same questions and maybe didn't wanna ask or maybe think of it later. So here's questions I've had so far that some people might wanna know. So first of all, it says, what's the minimum of artworks we have to do? So all totaled by the end, end of school, you'll end up doing five of these. And I've had you list six on your form. 
because um, that way you have, you know, kind of some things to play around and choose. If you um, change your mind and you want to do something else on the choice board, that's fine. I'm not holding you to only those, but it's good to have an idea of kind of what you're going to need, what you're thinking of doing, how much time you want to spend. And um, if you want to do more, if you get them done early and you want to do more because they just sound fun to you, please do that. That would be awesome. So um, that was a really good question. And um, another question I had was, can we tweak the ideas? Can we do something a little different with the basic idea that I give you? And my answer is a thousand percent yes. Each of the ideas in the choice board are kind of a starting point for you. You won't find a, a huge amount of directions with them. So that's why it's a choice. So definitely be as creative as you can with that. And uh, I will be excited to see what you come up with. So if you're in doubt, just you know, drop me an email and ask me my advice about it too. That's totally okay. Another student asked, can we use our own links as um, for ideas and to help us with the project? Absolutely. So the links that I gave you, I just kind of narrowed it down to a couple because I can't fit a million in the box. But as you know, you can check, um, you know, do Google searches for any topics. You can Google search for images to help you draw. And YouTube is a great resource. You might even find some DIY videos and showing you how to do some different things. You've always wanted to try to make an artwork. If you have the materials, give it a go. Why not, right? Cool. All right. A uh, couple other questions. Um, some people ask, you know, does something have to be done 3D or is it something that should be a drawing? Well, if it doesn't say it has to be a certain thing, then you can do whatever you want. So, um, for example, with the underwater scene for grade six, you know, you could absolutely just do a pencil and paper drawing, but you could also do like a diorama or a sculpture or um, something that really is cool to you. Um, and again, for anybody who does have access to digital art, I have no problem if you're using your digital art programs. In our first survey, I asked what you had because I was trying to see if a lot of people did have options like that. And some of you do. So go ahead and use those if you want to. Okay. Um, one person asked me... Um, do we put these on email or um, and get them to me by email or by Google Classroom or both? Good question. Some people have been having trouble attaching to Google Classroom um, under classwork. And if you've had trouble with that, just send me an email. Um, that's fine by me. But you don't have to do both. If you sent it by email, you don't need to attach it. But I will do um, a, a marked as return for you in Google Classroom so that um, you know it's all set. Okay. Likewise, if you attach it in Google Classroom and there's nothing there, or if you just click um, that you did it and you didn't send me an email, I'm not going to count it. So make sure you attach something or send it by email, one or the other. Okay. Um, what do we put our artwork on? That's a really good question because, you know, there's so many choices on the choice boards that uh, you know, could go any which way at all. My basic go-to is like just a piece of paper out of the computer printer that you might have at home or a basic white piece of paper no big paper if that's all you have that's fine if you have canvas and you want to use that we had a great a parody turned in by a grade eight artist with um acrylic paint and canvas it was amazing if you have a, a you know a cart piece of cardboard um kind of anything so it doesn't have to be a specific size but i would say don't work really large if you don't have a lot of time because the larger you work the more time it takes if you want to make something really big go for it okay what else do we have for questions here do we pick two things to do? Um, for now, you're going to, uh, the survey asks you to pick six. So um, for this session from May, uh, that ends on May 22, you only need to do two out of the ones that you picked. So um, one do the 15th, one do the 22nd of May. Can't wait to see those. So keep those coming in. You can, you can send it along as soon as you have it. Somebody asked how to take a picture. Um, if you have a phone, you can snap a picture with a phone and you can email it to me. That's fine. Or if um, mom or dad has a phone you can use, you can do that. Most laptops have a way to take a picture from your camera. So if you've been able to do zooms, you have a phone, you have a, a camera in your laptop. So you might be able to snap a pic with that. Uh, somebody wants to know, how do you make a drawing, um, come to life? Um, and that's one of the themes for grade six, make a toy come to life. Well, I don't, I think if some of you are experienced with animation, you might be able to do it digitally, but I'm thinking like a picture of something happening like that coming to life. So that's a good question. Um, for an abstract sculpture, can we use any materials? Yes, yes, and yes. 
be creative. Um, be careful of things that are sharp or dangerous. <laughs> I would just be careful and make sure if you're using anything to create art that belongs to someone else at home, ask them for permission first. And for now, I think that might be all the questions that I got in my first round checking through. Um, and again, the survey said you on the 8th. So I'll come back with another video next week with some more questions if I get some. And if you have more questions about what's going on with your artwork as we get through the choice projects, check it out. Now, don't forget before I sign off here, Zooms every, um, every week with specialties, Monday, 11 o'clock, Friday, uh, 1 p.m. Take care, everybody. Bye.